As the sun warms the heath in spring, male sand lizards begin chasing after females. In the late 1980s, Martin pioneered a program of captive breeding and successfully brought the lizards back from the brink of extinction. Sand lizards are so rare because this habitat is rare. The new forest has more than a quarter of Britain's remaining lowland heaths, and so is crucially important for heathland creatures. Martin's careful stewardship extends to those that might not have so many friends. One of my favourite reptiles is the adder. There are certain places where in the spring, if you walk very carefully, you can see them out in the open, soaking up the warm sunshine. Adders are our only venomous snake, but they're really not aggressive. If you leave them alone, they'll just slip quietly away into the undergrowth. These heathlands are also home to some of Britain's rarest birds, like the tiny Dartford warbler. It survives through the cold months seeking out insect larvae hidden in the gorse buds. But it's vulnerable to harsh winters, so exists on a knife edge, hugging the warm south coast of England, but at the northern limit of its range. For the Dartford warbler, spring never comes soon enough. Hobbies are migrants arriving all the way from West Africa. They rely on the heathland for feeding and breeding. I just love hobbies. They're just such beautiful little birds. They're little falcons, similar to, but smaller than the peregrine, and hunting smaller prey. So they hunt small birds, um, even dragonflies and things like that they'll catch on the wing. Wonderful flyers. <laughs> 